Yeah, folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Stellaris. We are the Broquillian Effluvium, and the Scourge have just arrived in our galaxy. So I did a, a quick Googlification of the Scourge to remind myself of what their deal is. Um, and the whole thing with them, so they don't have the uh, they don't have the one shot killing of like, you know, any large ship thing. I wonder if that was the um, um, the silver, whatever, the nanite bots from the L space, I'm not sure. Um, their deal is that uh, they don't use any shields and their weapons, so it looks like they use missiles, which ignore shields, and an acid blast, which apparently does bonus damage to shields. So it looks like what we wanna do is refit our fleets to be focused completely on armor um, as our defense. And they don't use any shields either, so our fleets that are fairly good at like, say, penetrating shields also doesn't matter. So we have to do radical redesigns for all of our ships. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the ship designer here. And um, rather than redesign the ships, I'm gonna keep these designs here, but I'm gonna create a new series of ships, starting with the battleship down. Um, AS battleship, anti-swarm battleship. There we go, is what we're gonna call this thing. <laughs> and let's see. Well, I'm still wondering about maybe doing some carrier stuff. Uh, I don't know if they use fighters. Whatever, I'll still do the thing where I use both types of point defense. Just for whatevers. Okay, these driller drones... ...are bad against shields, which doesn't matter because they don't use shields. Armor pen hull damage. Okay, so they do have less DPS. But these actually might be key, assuming we have enough ancient artifacts, and I think, generally speaking, we will. Now, see, these don't do any shield damage, which is fine. I think we'll, we'll use some Tachyon Lances here. Good. Um, do we still use Whirlwind Missiles? Because they do have shield penetration. Maybe what we do... I like the Broadside swar uh, Stern because it gives us three utility slots instead of just two. But the artillery stern does have the large gun here. So not kinetic. Right, so I guess we want to use lasers. Which normally get countered by shields. Or maybe plasma cans, in fact. Yeah. Which can still be in a medium slot. And small slots. Which normally what I would be doing here is putting in um, like Marauder Missiles just because of the range. What's the range on these things? Well, they are kind of shorter on the range. Mm. Maybe I still use Missiles just for standoff range. 120 range. Stay as far away as possible. Uh, I wonder if we can get the specs. I mean, they're using Missiles, so they're going to be using long range attacks. But maybe we can stay out of range of their acid blasts? If I want to use more ancient artifacts, we could use these bad boys. Yeah, these are pretty short range. I mean, they're still fine against other things, but yeah, it's not quite as sexy. Uh, 17 DPS. So this has lower raw damage, but it does have the multiplier, so it's going to be... It'll, it'll be about 27 DPS against armor and hull. So no, the plasma cannons are definitely going to do more damage than the missiles. Not infinitely so, but definitely more. but be shorter range. This is the same range as the Acid Blasters, though. So, I mean, maybe what we do is we... Yeah, well, we go with this. I mean, the small ones have even a shorter range. Unless I just throw Marauder missiles in here. I don't know. I kind of just want to keep max range from these things, right? Maximum engagement range of its hangars which the engagement range is 125. 
No, I think what we have to do is just throw missiles in here because what we're trying to do this is 120. So our ships are theoretically going to try to stay at 125, but every now and again, if the enemy tries to close in on us, then our missiles will be able to fire. I think that's probably the safer thing to do. What's the range on this? 150. So the Tachyon Lance is going to be able to hit from a distance. And yeah, we don't want any shields whatsoever. Not even the pulse things. I don't think we need, like the crystal infused plating is nice, but I don't think they ignore any armor. So we're going to get more raw points with just armor. So we do this and then probably just afterburners. We don't need anything to boost shields. We don't really shoot ourselves, so we don't have to worry about that. I don't think there's any auto upgrading to do, but let's do this. Um, so let's continue down. Cruiser plan. Probably going to be based completely around plasma cannons. And so kind of artillery cruisers as much as possible. Uh... And again, we'll try to stay back and kite. Now, which could mean afterburners, but these guys are going to be doing artillery type behavior. So I'm wondering if we throw in the decoders in here for tracking and chance to hit. No, let's standardize on speed. Oh, hang on. I never renamed you. AS Cruiser, which means I have to delete the generically named cruiser. There you go. Uh, AS Destroyer probably gets built as a point defense role. Since there is incoming missiles. Yeah. And then still with the plasma cannons. Save. Um, I mean, I guess we'll go ahead and do this too. I don't know how much we'll be building these. Um, but we'll just build you as like a up close in your face swarmer type person. And it does full armor pen, which is interesting. But no, we'll plasma it up. Definitely get an afterburner. And I mean, I don't know if your armor matters as much because you're going to be small and squishy. Swarm mode. Good. Okay. So let's go to our fleets and refit AS. Refit. So yeah, I didn't want to lose the old designs. We'll have everything go to the AS type and merge these. Yeah, I could have just redesigned my current things, but I didn't want to lose those designs. It'll be easier to go back. I mean, it'll be really annoying right now if someone does declare war on me, but then I guess I do still have those designs. Uh, oh, I'll probably want to take a look at our Titan. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's good. Reduced shield damage is fine. You're already using plasma cannons. Actually, not exclusively. Here we go. All plasma cannons. And right, shields no good. So just pure armor here. I don't think I need to keep the design the same way. Um, I mean, your speed's bad, but... Hang on, uh, let me save this. How fast are my battleships? Well, I mean, that's something. I don't know how... how quick... Oh, 
Oh, actually, this is going to be faster. They have a speed of like high 100s, 160, something like that. If I didn't have these, yeah, then we wouldn't outspeed them. We want, and yeah, we'll have a we'll have a max buffer. That's going to be good. Um, I mean, debuffing their fire rate still seems like a decent idea, but I'm just wondering about now going targeting grid. Although, I mean, I guess it does still help the uh, fighters. But we do have more kind of an earth. Six, one, half a dozen. Forget, we'll give them targeting. That's fine. Especially since we're not packing our own targeting modifiers, right? Everyone's going after burners. Maybe it is going to be important to do that. Okay, so we only have the one uh, model of Titan, but I guess that's fine. Uh, full upgrades. They're splitting up where they're doing their upgrading. Maybe. gateways being built sure scourge not really advancing too much yet and I can't really get over there I mean I could YOLO slingshot but you know what I'm not gonna do the spy stuff let's try to improve some relations with these guys because we might be able to get some open border stuff happening maybe what I'll do since these guys are pledging to protect me Unproved relations to them as well. Okay. We are restructuring our fleets, ready to take on the Scourge. We still have the deficit of rare crystals. We actually have a consumer goods deficit now. Really? Wow. We have mastered a new technology. Consumer goods pop upkeep. Let's reduce that. Maybe we can put on auto research. I think we're fine. Yeah, next month, does this go positive? I mean, I don't really want to build more factory worlds. I think Space mostly we're waiting for these things to get, like, counted. fully kitted out. You still have some crime. Hmm. Okay, gateway up. Sure, fine. Traditions available. Yes, there we go. Starbase capacity. Um, and specifically the places where we have planets without an upgraded starbase. Go, let's get those two started. Hey, okay. uh, alloy price is probably going to skyrocket. So if it's cheap and holy crap, is it ever cheap? I'm going to buy some now. Yeah. I suspect people are going to be buying more alloys as the war with the Scourge starts to increase. They're still just in one place, right? Yep. All right, that's good. Sorry, very triggered again. Yes, yeah, so you get one instant and one later. It doesn't really describe it that way. Okay, where deficit of crystals is basically non-existent. There we go. Literally non-existent. So I think we're going to be okay. I think there's still a few more coming online, and there may still be um, a shortage of workers in a few places that'll generate some more for us. I would like more of a buffer, but it'll be okay. Scientist. Oh. And there's you, but you're not really specialized in this field. There we go. At least that'll affect some research. What's the new law being proposed? Repeal Conservation Act. I support. Repeal Comfort of the Fallen. I definitely support. Because that eventually leads to, like, no robots allowed, which is no good. We don't want that. Construction complete. All right. Um, so what we're going to want out of these things is definitely going to be more anchorages for naval capacity. Naval logistics, and then upgrade. Same thing here. Anchorages, naval logistics, upgrade to the next level as well. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if we started to go ham on Fortress Worlds. I'm sorry, did the Scourge get defeated? Is the endgame crisis just going to get beaten without me ever getting involved? Oh, they've spawned a few more there. Wow. Wow. 
I think the Scourge is just going to get defeated without me ever doing anything. Yeah, so, is it... Is it not so much that I'm behind as much as, like, the AI has gone, like, Super Saiyan because of the Grand Admiral difficulty? They do get some pretty huge bonuses. Jeez. Fritch is unemployment. Okay, well, we'll do this. Or unemployed specialists. Is it because I changed these modes here? That does seem a little odd. We definitely have some jobs. I don't know. Dun, 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 dun. Can I build more than one science nexus? Never occurred to me to try, but I think I guess we can. Well, that's why you're idle, right? I wanted. Space relay. We've got this area covered now. Or maybe I'll build one over here. We'll build one there too. Just shift clicking. Don't really need one over here. Oh, maybe this area. Okay. Oh shit, that uses crystals too. Um, which is okay because we're positive on it right now, but. Probably want a bit of a buffer, yeah. So you got your unemployed people. Our we ships have been upgraded. Generally be moving around. The raw fleet strength number went up, but is that actually better as an overall fighter? I don't know, but it's definitely scourge focus. It's definitely great at killing anything that's not using shields. Oh my god, just the entire galaxy just obliterating those things instantly. I don't suppose I have any way to get there, do I? I could try claiming some of these systems. Maybe I should get more science ships. Hmm. I think you're probably taking that here. I mean, I, it would cost a million influence, but we've got a bunch of influence right now. We're not doing anything with it. All right, yeah, crystals are good. We have mastered We're not buying any. Advanced cruiser hulls. Okay, what is this? Non-aggression pack. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to attack you right now. Although, we're, we're still going to be on brand and say no most of that sort of things. Although, we'll be nice to Ushu right now because they could just absolutely crush us. Crush us like overboiled broccoli. Hey, doing their star bases. Yeah, you're still building. I came here for upgrading. I mean, it does have maximum shipyard, so I guess that's okay. But it's interesting they didn't stay here. I guess because one fleet was already busy, but then they all went to the same place. I don't know. It does seem a little odd. All right. Well, we're finally going to get the resort world tech, which it's fine. I don't care anymore. Yeah. So someone's gone and claimed that. We might still be able to snag something. Um, yeah, let's build a couple more science ships, just to say. I'm gonna have them go and research this in bulk. Because if we can get this system, we can grab a little bit more. I mean, I don't know how valuable it'll be, but... Ah, shit. That's actually annoying. Don't really do Sonics. 
I don't think it matters which one of these we grab. Uh, which on auto survey. Oh, robot assistant. Yeah. So, is the crisis just done? I mean, more might show up. Space-born abomination encounter. But since their, their foothold in the galaxy is gone, I actually don't know. They might just peter out. We might just get a message of, yep, the scourge is done at some point. Which is a little anticlimactic. Climactic? Climaxic? One of those. Um. <laughs> uh. Huh. I guess then we just keep puttering on until the end game. See what else we can grab along the way. Yeah, we do have an excess of influence. Uh. Yeah, I can't get to any of these. Damn. Oh, there's this planet there. Hey, what? Let's grab everyone. Try to survey this in bulk. So we burn through it as quickly as possible. And let's see if we can snag a little something, something here. Just to give us some extra options. Mostly, it's not even about the planet or anything. This will give us somewhere we can build a gateway and maybe have some extra invasion options. Those are planets. No complaints. No, you got to complain about housing here. Yeah, fine. We'll do that. Finish your astral mining bay. Yeah, everything else is groovy. You still have some people that are moving, which is fine. We're gonna activate the surveyor. Find some more spots. We have mastered a new technology. Resort worlds? Ooh. Thrall world next? Sure. And I don't think we're building either one of those, but, you know, we'll we'll get them out of the pool. How many... Oh, there's a lot. One of our spaceports is under attack. This? Oh, shit. So I guess the Scourge isn't done. Uh, but they did decide to appear in my territory. Now, this one fleet should be doable by us. Not everyone's done upgrading, but that's okay. Just get in here. Although we're gonna jump through, oh, through the gateway there actually. So we're not gonna show up point blank range. One of our range. stations has been lost. One of our mining stations has been lost. Bam, 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 bam. Good. Although annoying that I have to retake it. Grab this random construction ship here and rebuild that, please. Oh yes, and then we'll be able to science that. I'm going to do a shift clue one of my science ships that's serving that system, and we'll get them over here to do that. And we might discover some cool scourge weapons. Oh, we just get it back immediately. Okay, that's cool. Okay, you chill here. You, I'll put back on auto construct. You can go and finish this up. And... Well, that wasn't even one of my actual star bases either, so... No need to re-upgrade you. Construction complete. Um, lag? What just happened. Ooh, big peace deal! The Laborans finally finished their war. Flipping planets. Okay, you over here. Out of curiosity, I want to declare war. Yeah, Ushu. They gain a lot of territory against some of their neighbors. What about you over here? Yeah, you get the dynastic union, which is danger. Yeah, the Azantian, who are the people who, like, vassalized me earlier. They've got this protector, which is very annoying. Oh, now they're claiming some of my shit. Well, you know what? It's not so bad. If they can start a war with me, it's their relative strength equivalent. If they declare war on me, I'd be fine with it. Well, first of all, the Ushu would be on my side, so I don't think System they'd actually do it. Complete. It'd be nice if they did, though. Oh, there we go. That's done. Build. It's not even that expensive. Wait, 
wonder if you guys were supposed to come over here. Oh, you can't currently reach. Okay, well, what I'll do with you is I'll do that, which will send you home. Yeah, you guys are all canceling. Um, well, maybe I'll send you all home. So this is just, yeah, if you tell a ship to return home and they can't reach, they'll FTL. This is very handy. You don't need any tech or anything like that. All right, I got to keep being friends with you, shoot. Let's, let's do this diplomatically. I know it's against our brand that we've been building, but... We need something like that. I mean, construction. Right now, the Scourge are having a bad day. And and to be fair, it's not just the AI. It's also me. As it turns out, I can also beat up the Scourge. Well, I mean, they were wickedly outnumbered there, but. But we didn't lose anything. And we're only going to be that much stronger against them if they show up again. So, yeah, the, this galaxy is just way too advanced. I guess that's the thing. I should have increased the crisis strength. Because it is Grand Admiral difficulty. In hindsight, I wish I had. Construction complete. If I'm going to be playing with our AI being on Grand Admiral difficulty, I need to scale up the the crises. Because everyone in the galaxy is just going to be way too strong. Construction right, complete. You got your next level, which is great. Let's go Anchorage, Anchorage. Um. Some science on transit hub. So yeah, a few more we want to do, and then do the base upgrade. Uh, Anchorage, Anchorage. Transit hub upgrade. Good. So, this construction ship right away is going to get started on a gateway site. We have mastered a new technology. Hang out in terminal egress for all worlds. What are you researching now? Habitability boost. Well, that was the one we had partially researched, I think. So yeah, it, it, you can we see it's very quick. A new technology. We have more robo modification. Robots. I need more than. I can't do anything with you. I'll convert you over. Here to some empire size from pop stuff. Well, it'd be nice if we could like remerge all these robots into one Special category. Project. 100 quite K alloys ready to go. Feeling very stompy. fleet here but if we zoom out our ships have been upgraded yep no scourge around yeah they're having a real bad day commander shepherd already uh organized the galaxy to be ready to kill Incoming the reapers transmission Two annoying babysitters. I mean, I'm happy I've got a babysitter myself right now, because that might be relevant. I mean, they're only defensively minded. If I broke it off, I said, no, I don't want you to, like, guarantee my independence. Maybe these guys would attack me and we'd probably be able to kick their butts. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see if the numbers ship, ship to equivalent when we do get the new fleet, like, built. Oh, right, this debris. Science ships are no longer lost in space, so please go and get that. And I might shift the research immediately to go and deal with this. Borderless authority. Subjects, ethic traction towards their overlords. Um... 
Greater authority handed to stronger members of the Senate. I'm gonna have to impose that. Although it'll probably still pass. I'm not passing as quick as I would like. We have mastered the galaxy is pretty packed here and lots of population around. Uh, you know what? Can we just do the um, monthly unity thing for now? Thanks. Bit of an override. Still have random space amoebas over here. Mm hmm. Oh, um, how long has it been? Oh, integrate. There we go. Oh, it's going to take a long time. We have mastered a new technology. That's okay. Debris analyzed. Debris analyzed. So, scourge missiles and spawning pools, which are both both society research. I guess the scourge missiles are like genetic kind of things. All right. Okay. We'll do those immediately. I mean, it'd be great if we could analyze more of those science bits, but we can't, so we won't. Oh, you've got some auto-serving to do? Let's do it. There's a new fleet coming in. Why are you doing fleet transit? You should have a direct route. We have mastered a new technology. Oh, I'm sorry. What is going on here? We have civilian scourge ships. Just chillin'. In Vega. Infestors, constructors. Um, that's an interesting visual glitch. Wide superintending conductivity. Oh, that's quite nice, actually. And yeah, there we go. 12 crystals per month is a pretty good number. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. Mm hmm. Done. All right. Yeah, these scourge are having a, such a bad day. <laughs> System you know, complete. for every time we've had issues with them, it's nice to get them absolutely and utterly spanked sometimes. Make them feel bad for ever coming to the wrong, the wrong part of the universe, basically. Uh, influence slowly growing. Eventually going to annex these guys, and then they're all going to get purged, because we can't eat robots anyway. I'm sure these planets are going to be very chaotic, but we'll try to move as many of our uh, population over as we can. And this is going to dramatically increase your power base. We have mastered a new technology. But it's going to take a while to bring it up to, to strength, you know? Yeah, fine. Just finish the Giga Cannon. Who cares? How's the planets? Yeah, bridge still ending up some extra people that are moving away, or... Our ships have been upgraded. Oh, secret fealty to me. Interesting. Does that mean you have an overlord? System yeah, the overlord's probably, like, either one of the big guys or protected by one of the big guys. I'm actually kind of annoyed that the Azantium here are still having their independence guaranteed. Well, that's them guaranteed. Well, hold on. That's actually all of a sudden very interesting. Wait a minute. Okay, you have a defensive pact. The regime of Phrynius. This is very interesting. Because that gets us in war against Zantium. Um, but we're not declaring war on them directly. We will be fighting a lot of people, possibly too many people. Since I'm not declaring war on them directly, it doesn't bring in their babysitter. And then that gets us maybe vassalizing the regime over here. But it was still awkward because there's no jump gates. There's no quick way to get over here. Yeah. All right, gateway site ready over here. Spaceball horror encountered. Okay, well, I have a few questions from those old messages. Uh, hello, credits. Ru 
Ruined Sight Nexus and Spaceborne. I like how the message changes based on the fact that we already have a Science Nexus. And yeah, we'll be able to get the, um, the sensor array here. I mean, we could just, we could basically build whatever we want right now, but. Spaceborne depravity. Reorder these by designation. Thank you. Didn't realize we had some lingering at the bottom. Incoming transmission. That's a lot of money. Okay. Uh, really? Spaceborne monstrosity. Who the hell did we just meet for the first time? What critters is there? Oh, maybe there's an enclave. That's probably the most likely thing. Brigands blockade at Dram. Okay, on our system, representatives blah, 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 temporary blockades on effect at Dram. Processing transporting of food or minerals through the system now subject to seizure. Okay. Spaceborne I don't understand how this is relevant to me in any way whatsoever. Spaceborne horror encountered. It's not in my territory. How am I getting blockaded? I don't think I'm shifting any trade through there. What? I'm really confused. Okay. <laughs> Waiting for the gateway to be finished here. We could settle if we wanted. All right. First contact still going on. All right. You guys are all done that. Um, let's go back to assist research. Actually, I think I can send two or maybe more to Moldy Desert. They do. They have more than more than one science planet slash station in there. Yeah, borders changed over here. I guess it's time for me to get into another cut in here. I don't know what we're doing with this game anymore. I thought there would be maybe a gigantic struggle against the scourge or some end game crisis. And that could be our grand finale, but that doesn't seem to be the case. And things are so static because both these guys are providing defense to so many people. I think things are very static in the galaxy because no one really feels like they can attack each other because it'll fire off like Galactic Warp 3 any second. I mean, I might be the one who ends up doing that. We'll see. Why not the enigmatic cash buzzing around? As my tech catch up, which, you know, maybe is a little bit embarrassing, but it's still the case. Um, well, yeah, these are small planets, though. Well, again, we will gain a power base here. We are theoretically teching. I actually don't know how, the, how our tech rate compares to other people. We don't have the same tech as them. But that's because they had the the tech boost earlier on. Can't like reach these systems, can we? To like check out these uh, wormholes? No, that's a shame. Might just connect these two, which would be kind of lame. I think there were yeah wormhole over here. No, there's probably some interconnections. Hmm. We do have to wrap this up at some point because we do have the um, the next expansion that's coming out that I'm eager to check out. But we'll see. We'll we'll keep this going for a little bit, I think. Mm. We'll at the very least finish integrating these guys and then see what how we feel about things after that. Uh, we haven't actually got the message that the scourge has been defeated yet either. So there's that. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.